2020 is going to be our year. I'm almost certain the arrests are going to start within the next three months or so. And there's, there's some that's going to end up in jail and they deserve it. The first step to reducing your emissions is to know where you stand. Find out your carbon footprint with our new calculator and share your pledge today. I pledge not to spill 4.9 million barrels of oil in the Gulf of Mexico. And if I do, I will make sure everyone gets enough money so that I can never produce any again. Would be a good result. <clears throat> Congratulations if you just received an honour from the Queen. Rolf Harris, Jimmy Savile, Smith and him from It's a Knockout. All, of course, paedophiles. Strange that. I felt sorry for the hypnotist I saw last night. He hypnotised seven guys, then dropped the mic on his foot and yelled, F me. What happened next will haunt me for the rest of my life. How police pre-crime units target citizens alleged to be obsessed with public officials. Serian, serious questions arise over potential misuse of powers by police departments created to identify and neutralise fixated individuals, writes freelance journalist Asher Wolf. Imagine a knock at the door. Five police officers stand outside demanding you take a psychiatric assessment. Sounds like the sort of thing you'd expect from a police state. Certainly not something you'd, ex you'd find in a modern liberal democracy like Australia right yet according to Queensland lawyer Chris Nist that's alleged what happened to one new client who turned up at his office even more alarmingly according to Nist his client had recently made a number of official complaints about the behavior of certain police public servants who he contended had been abusing his powers in the line of duty <clears throat> The incident has raised serious concerns relating to the protection of civil liberties. Apparently, this client had somehow come to the attention of Queensland's fixated threat assessment team. According to NIST, QFTAC is an agency staffed by Queensland police officers and cl cl clinicians from the Queensland Forensic Mental Health Service to identify people who are thought to fixate on government officials and other public identities. Before the Lind Cape Calf siege committed by man Horman Morris, QFTAC, was one of the only two such law enforcement forensic psychiatric threat assessment units in the world. In late April 2017, the New South Wales state government established the Fixated Personals Unit, which has resulted in at least six charges and tens of dozens of people being investigated. Victoria has also announced the establishment of a Fixated Threat Assessment Centre in recent days. There's only one threat and that's government. Tesco scraps payment for its scan as you shop service and shoppers are fuming. Well, I'll be stopping using Tesco's weekly then. Good on you all. And yes, we all should stop it. Tesco has announced that it will no longer be accepting cash payments on its scan as you stop shop system and the people aren't happy. The system, which is exclusive to club card members, allows people to pay uh, to pack as they go, straight from their shelves to their bag, and is said to make the whole shopping experience a lot easier. However, some shoppers now claim that by going cashless, the scan as you shop system will make things more difficult, and some have even threatened to boycott the supermarket as a result. To make people aware of the changes, Tesco has been pr printing a message on customers' re recipes which read, Scan as you shop is chart changing. Yeah, well, it's going to change because nobody's going to use it and then you're going to be screwed. <coughs> 2020 just began and weird things are already starting to happen all over the world. Many of us are expecting 2020 to be a very unusual year and it certainly didn't take long for the weirdness to start. 
In this article, I am going to share several examples of the weirdness with you, and I have a feeling that this is just the beginning of what we are going to experience over the next 12 months. We live at a time when the pace of change has reached at an exponential rate and our society is literally coming apart at the seams all around us. That makes this a, a perfect environment for weird stuff to happen and that means that I will no, have no shortage of things to write about in the coming days. I would like to start off by discussing the really bizarre phenomenon that is happening in the skies over Colorado and Nebraska right now. According to New York Times, hordes of sophisticated drones have been flying in precision formations over those two states at night and nobody knows where they are from. They come in the night, dr drones, lots of them, flying in precision formation over the Colorado and Nebraska prairie. Why are they there? Unclear. It's creepy, said Miss Blackman, who saw three drones hovering over the, her farm outside Palais de Nebraska on a recent evening, including one that lingered right above her house. I have a lot of questions of what and what, what, why and what they are they, and nobody seems to have the answers. A 12,500 year old huge sphinx discovered in Pakistan. Another impressive sphinx has been report recently discovered in Balochistan, Pakistan, and extremely, exactly 6,000 kilometers away from the already famous sphinx of Giza, Egypt. The discovery supports the re reinforces our agree arrangement argument, according to which an ancient civilization older than the Egyptians existed and built many structures, most of them now lost. According to experts, the, the Sphinx in Balochistan has been created by natural phenomena. Bullshit! And it's similarly with the Sphinx in Egypt. It's just a mere coincidence. All these conclusions are made with no official archaeological investigation. What a crock of shite, eh? Nevertheless, a big number of individuals have been actually visited and placed pl police place denied Graham Hancock's version of the case and came to the conclusion that the site is very ancient Sphinx. According to estimates, the Sphinx of Balchistan dates from more than 12,500 years ago. Have a look at the following video and share your imp impressions with us. Links in description if you want to do that. Researcher Va Vital Go Discovery an underground pyramid in Crimea. This so-called, this this so-known Crimean pyramid were discovered accidentally by Virtual Go back in 2001. As amazing as it sounds, these pyramids seem to exceed the age of the Egyptian pyramids. <clears throat> the first pyramids were found on the outskirts of Sevastopol while searching for water. Suddenly, Go realised that there were was something strange deep in the ground over once they began digging they stumbled upon the edge of a, one of the pyramids of course in order to break through layers of layers of earth they needed special equipment as you may imagine ukraine authorities were not interested in these matters the group in charge to work under the ground started to feel ill and had to quit working Ghislaine maxwell has reportedly found refuge in Israel, a damning New York, New York Post report revealed Wednesday. You mean she's gone to Israel and they've taken her in and they're hiding her because she works for them? Well, there's a shock. Maxwell, a British socialite who has been accused of recruiting underage girls in the Jeffrey Epstein sex trafficking scandal, is apparently being hidden in order to protect information she has regarding the rich and famous who socialised with Epstein. In an attempt to evade the long arm of the law, Maxwell has spent time in both the UK and Israel ever since Epstein was rearrested re and subsequently died while in prison. Not. Ghislaine is protected. She and Jeffrey were as assets of sorts for multiple foreign governments. They were would trade information about the powerful people caught in their net. Caught at Epstein's house, a source told the Post page six. 
She is not in the US. She moves around. She is sometimes in the UK, but most often in other countries, such as Israel, where her powerful contacts have provided her with safe houses and protection, the source added. While it is unclear who exactly participated in Epstein's illicit sex parties, where underage girls were flown to his private island, powerful and prominent A-listers like the UK's Prince Andrew and former Israeli Prime Minister Eb Ebhud Barak are just two people uh, rumoured to have participated in such events. Maxwell, for her part, has denied any wrongdoing and her representatives declined to respond to the page six story. Well, you mean she's not come out and admitted? Yeah, we travel... We, we tra uh, got children to this so that they could be raped and murdered by the elite. No, 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 I'm denying that. The British citizen is the daughter of the late Robert Maxwell, a media mogul who allegedly was connected to the Mossad, British intelligence and even KGB. He was embroiled in an elaborate fraud scheme in 91. He also died in a mysterious circumstances. Falling off his 15 million yacht, the Lady Ghislaine, while it was docked in the Canary Islands in Spain. Despite the controversy surrounding him, he was eventually buried on Jerusalem's ancient Mount of Olives cemetery later that year. Why have more than 1,300 CEOs left their post in the past year? Boards have been too compliant and they're finally recognising it's their job to be vigilant about chief executive's misbehaviour, said one advocate for corporate governance. Chief ex Executives are leaving in record numbers this year with more than 1,332 stepping aside in the period from January through the end of October, according to new data released on Wednesday. While it's not unusual to see CEOs fleeing in the middle of recession, it's noteworthy to see such a rash of executive ex exits amid robust corporate er er earnings and record stock market highs. Last month, 172 chief executives left their jobs, according to uh, executive placement firm Challenger. Grey and Christmas. It's the highest monthly number on record, and the year-to-year -year total outpaces even the wave of executives exist exits during the financial crash. The list of CEOs stepping down includes some who have left amid controversy. McDonald's announced on Sunday it was s separating Steve Easterbrook, as pre uh, president and CEO after he admitted having consensual affair with another employee. We work Works founder and CEO Adam Newman stepped down two weeks ago, accepting a 1.7 billion golden parachute in exchange for walking away from a disastrous IPO. See, you, make, you screw everything up and you get a 1.7 million dollar bonus. That same week, Kelvin Plank, the billionaire founder of leisure wear firm Under Armour, confirmed he was stepping down. Under Armour confirmed this week it is the subject of a federal accounting probe. Nike's longtime CEO Mike Parker resigned the same day, as did the head of eBay. And as we, I mentioned a few days ago, or a week or so ago, uh, the head of Google and Facebook, uh, YouTube have also stepped down. That's because they know they're going to jail. Israel aid to Nepal was cover for baby trafficking. The allegation has made by two Spanish language networks. Israel used its human humanitarian aid missions to Nepal as a cover for trafficking 25 Nepalese babies, two Spanish language networks report. Iranian Hispan TV and Venezuela's T Telesur Networks broadcast the reports. Telesur is the national public television channel for Venezuela, which is rebroadcast re throughout Latin America on the public television networks. Hispan TV broadcast the original report, which quotes an unnamed NGO as stating that Israel uses humanitarian help as a cover for trafficking of 22 babies in Nepal. Telsa picked up the report last week. The report stated correctly that the 25 babies that were taken to Israel, 15 of them were born through Tammuz, an Israeli insurgency company, which provides services to Israel couples unable to bear children, 
particularly homosexual couples. The other babies also reportedly were born to surrogate mothers for Israeli partners. The Simon Weinstall Centre condemned the report. The Taran Karkas Axis even perverts humanitarian aid to victims of... Some of the Earth Paul record eight. The men who stole the world inside the 2008 financial cr crisis, engineered by, on deliberate by the banks. A look at two uh, top executives of Wall Street helped trigger a global financial crisis and how it may happen again. More than a decade since the global economic meltdown of 2008 devastated lives across the world, no one who caused the crisis has been resp uh, responsible held responsible. The 2008 financial crisis displayed what the world now it identifies as financial can contagion, says Philip J. Baker, a former managing partner of US-based hedge fund that collapsed during the financial crisis. Despite this, zero Wall Street chief executives have been to prison, even though there here there is today Absolutely no doubt that Wall Street executives and politicians were complicit in creating the crisis, he saves. Baker was among the few relatively small players in prison for the part they played. In July 2009, he was arrested in Germany and extradited to the United States where he faced federal court on charges of fraud and financial crimes. He pled guilty and was sentenced to 20 years in prison for costing some 900 investors about 294 million worldwide. He served eight years in jail and is now... A uh, on parole and advocates against financial crime. I've been asked to why did I break the line, says Baker. I wanted to protect that, what I had. Money, family, power. Everybody does that, but don't they? How they many people say, no, I don't want the power, I don't want the money, and walk away. Baker's arrest came amid mounting pressure to prosecute the top executives that, that held helped lay the groundwork for the 2008 collapse. But the hand of the law has not extended to the very top of the pyramid. Of course not. Lehman Brothers, one of the biggest offenders, went bankrupt on 15 September 2008. As a result, the New York Stock Exchange had its biggest drop in a single day since 9-11. When you are talking about the Lehman bankruptcy, you are talking about the largest single bankruptcy in the history of financial institutions, says Anton R. Valokas, a former US attorney and Lehman Brothers bankruptcy examiner. Many experts say c cases like Baker's are just a distraction. His huge fund is pe uh, pennies compa compared with some multi-billion dollar investment companies while those truly responsible get away. Lehman's former CEO, Dick Fuld, got to keep his money and continues working in the industry today. Energy bills will have to rise sharply to avoid climate crisis, say IMF. So they're pulling this bullshit fake climate change crap because they want to tax us more, put the price of fuel up more so we can't afford to live. If you haven't had enough, you have not been paying attention. Fund says the government could use money to help vulnerable people or invest in green energy. How about don't tax them in the first place and they won't need the help in the second place? Avoiding dangerous global heating will require governments around the world to impose stringent taxes on fossil fuel uses that will mean a 43% jump in household energy bills over the next decade, the International Monetary Fund has said. Well, I think we need to get rid of the IMF, get rid of the governments, definitely get rid of the banks. The Washington-based fund said the battle against climate change, the non-existent and we all know is for a fake fraudulent bullshit fake uh, climate change could only be won in the av average carbon tax levied by its member states increased by from 1.63 million a, a ton to what 75 million dollars a ton the imf said governments were worried about this political backlash against big increases in the cost of heating homes and mot motoring uh, and should use the extra re revenue raised for, from the tax to compensate consumers how about don't tax them in the first place this is ludicrousy we're going to tax you uh, uh, everyone and then we're going to give you some back except oh we're going to forget to give you some back so you're not actually going to make get a penny back 
to limit global warming to 2C or less. Absolute fake. The level deemed safe by science which we know is totally fake. Large emitting countries need to take um, ambitious actions, IMF economists said. For example, they should introduce a carbon tax set to rise quickly to $75 a tonne in 2030. This would mean the end of the world as we know it. So let's just get away with that stupidity. The Times. Big pay rises for rail bosses behind soaring fears and delays. So... The rail firms couldn't run and organise a piss up in a brewery. We can't get a train from A to B on time. Oh, and it, when we do, it's overloaded. Uh, but we're pay paying ourselves massive rises because, hey, you know, we don't give a shit about anything. If that doesn't get you pissed, I don't know what will. Wanted weirdos to shake up Whitehall. PM's top aide seeks radical ideas for government. Lies and deception. Young couples put earth before births. <clears throat> Brainwashed. I. The hit for the 20... List 20, for 2020. Who gives a shit? The year that changed the decade. Oh, Northern Rail to be sacked for disastrous track record, but we're paying all the executive massive bonuses because they've done such a shit job because that's how it works. When you shit at your job and you're in a multi-billion, million-pound business, you get a massive bonus when you f screw up. Transport Secretary vows to strip train companies' franchise after it cancelled 310 services a day when new timetable was introduced. Frustrated commuters will not have long to wait, says Gr Grant Shapes. Yeah. Political leaders in North demand greater clarity on government plans. In other words, we're just going to say this shit, nothing's going to change and they'll, everything will carry on. A load of, those at the top will make a load of money and it'll cost us all dearly. The big winners in football's loan system. You're an idiot, mate. Australian PM heckles as he, heckled as he sees wildfire devastation. Apprentice scams cost taxpayer $1.2 billion. The benefit of vegan diet, meat-free steak, baked taste test. Keep active to boost great matter. The Guardian. Oh, what an awful war. Sam Mendes, Colin Firth and Mark Strong, 19, 1917. But it was a great war, apparently. That's what they keep telling us, the great war. Except it wasn't a great war. It was a way of depopulating the planet. But back then we didn't know it, and now we do. This is, of course, The Guardian, like I said. Revealed how betting firms rely on VIP gambles who lose huge sums. As the Gambling Commission has suggested, those policies should be banned to protect problem gamblers. Thousands stranded as they flee bushfires. The scum. Exclusive. Cyprus hell. Gang rape like Brit pleas to PM. Calls for pardon as teens face jail. Teen face jail. Help me, Boris. Uproar as PNO. Go PC. Every fang you freed to knew about... Every fang... Oh, what a load of crap that paper is. Mirror. BBC Dracula Star's Secret Heartache. First bite review of Vegan Steak Bake. Bring World Cup home to the north. Football North... North... Heart, football's heartlands must be at core of first uh, drive to host Tories told. Crock of shine. Daily fail. Sex offenders allowed to sign off dangerous list. Three and four taken off register after applying to police. Revealed second victim of village double murder. Express. I fear my life was over. Now I have a new one. Worth the wait for a vegan steak bake. Britain's 26 billion Brexit tourism boom. Parasites. High praise. YK is a dignified queen in waiting. Metro. Mr. and Mrs. Vile. Yeah. Killed just weeks into a BA job. Waste of paper. Titanic. Let's get l new love. Leo's gets new love. Um, Rooney. I wasn't. I just wasn't on the ball when I bet. It could be. Woo. Ghost of Mum, help me win one million lotto potto. 
Just what a waste of paper that that is. FT. Fatalities rise as floodwaters sweep Jakarta. Heat rises of Gozan as Interpol demands his arrest in Lebanon. Toy, 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 to, <laughs> Tokyo house raided. Turkey de details plot. Pilots ex Nissan cheer denies family involved. Cummings seeks to transform Whitehall with an invite to weirdos and artists. Pollution challenge rise for hard pre pressed cities. Hard pressed cities, yeah. Bullshit. Guy. We need to stop testing our products on animals. Boss. Why? Shampoo companies do it all the time. Guy. Yeah, but we make dildos. Happiness is the new rich. Inner peace is the new success. Health is the new wealth. Kindness is the new cool. Megan. Any secrets to a long life? Queen. Yeah, wear a seatbelt and don't piss me off. Loading Afro, 50%. Dark sense of humour can be dementia warning sign. I'm getting the feeling I shouldn't be finding this funny. To stop any more gossip, I will tell you myself. Yes, I did get arrested for assault on New Year's Eve, but in my defence, it was nearly midnight, and if you were standing next to a Muslim with a rucksack shouting, 10, 9, 8, 7, you would have twatted the th thingy as well, wouldn't you? <laughs>